Hi, my name is Jeff Greger, and this is my Pitcha Kutcha presentation for EDUC 5105. This image summarizes exactly how I was feeling prior to the start of the course. E-learning is something that is fairly new to me. I had a lot of ideas, a lot of questions, and once we started engaging in some of these activities, things started to make a little more sense. During week one, an introduction to e-learning, I felt like I was back on track. There were five discussion posts with copious amounts of entries from classmates. I was understanding the content and was looking forward to further coursework, a sign of relief to say the least. At the beginning of week two, I felt like I did a face plan on a block of concrete. This was due to the fact that I had a major assignment due in my other class with three children under the age of six at home with me while I was teaching online. I absolutely loved the content and discussions for this unit. I was just feeling overwhelmed. The picture says it all. Week three was my favorite week of any online course that I have ever taken. It felt like the entire class was working as a team to make our designs even better. The feedback was rich and extensive with a considerable amount of thought going into post. I'm a firm believer that before any learning takes place, students have to feel that they belong. They have to feel connected. And in order to do that, you really need to form that relationship with the students. Whether it is in a face-to-face -face setting, a blended setting, or strictly online, the relationship piece has to be there first. The main goal of any e-learning design is to ensure that students are learning. Prior to designing an e-learning platform, it's imperative that we figure out who our students are and what their needs are. Whether it's academic, behavioral, technological, or any other need, we need to figure out who our students are. Students need to understand what they are learning, but more importantly, they need to understand why they are learning that. We as educators need to provide our students with real life, authentic, memorable learning experiences that students can use their past experiences to help further their understanding. Integrating gamification into the learning environment can motivate students to engage in the objective even further. This will allow kinesthetic and visual learners to reach their full potential. It is also a wonderful opportunity to reinforce previous learned skills. Without context, you simply have a curriculum outcome. This course has taught me about Allen's four components of interactive learning through context, challenge, activity, and feedback. When students are provided with thorough context, the learning environment is much more enjoyable. Although we live in different places, the structure of this course has allowed for a great deal of collaboration. I was able to use my context for an activity design, and through feedback from classmates, I had improved my overall design. The discussions were great for establishing the general themes of this course. I have a deep passion for mathematics, and students can see it on a daily basis in the classroom. I need to demonstrate this exact passion in an e-learning environment. I need students to feel excited, to be inspired to learn a particular skill. I need to provide more choice with my activities and assessments online moving forward. I only have two computers in my room. However, essentially all students have cell phones. Who am I to say they cannot use their phones, especially if it's for educational purposes? If I went over something too quickly and I'm working with another student, use your phone and find a tutorial video on Khan Academy. How about checking your answer using PhotoMath? I consider student feedback as an extremely valuable tool. When I am designing lessons or assessments, I listen to my students and gain an understanding of how they are feeling. Throughout my courses, I have students provide feedback in how the course is going, what changes could be made to better assist with their learning, and I make those changes as needed. Collaboration is an important aspect to consider when designing an e-learning program. When students are collaborating, they are connected. Whether it is through discussion posts, providing feedback to classmates, 
or working in teams, students do not feel like they're alone in the learning experience. You can make a good idea great with collaboration. When looking at assessment, my formative assessing of students needs to drive my instruction. I need to be flexible and willing to adapt my instruction to meet all learners. I use the Dick and Carry model when designing my lessons as it fits with the flexibility piece. You are constantly reflecting and making changes during the nine stages of the process. It also requires you to issue a summative assessment at the end to measure the overall effectiveness of the program. I am not a dictator, I am a facilitator. I let my students know at the beginning of the year that I do not know everything. I want to learn with my students and for them to understand that their input is important. I want them to have the understanding and confidence to co-construct a rubric for evaluation purposes. Big challenges require perseverance. The thought of moving from a face-to-face -face structure to an online platform in the public education world had never crossed my mind. This was a huge challenge. The steps taken to move online were necessary, but will need to be improved if we plan on increasing engagement and achievement. I want students to create an online website, blog, or portfolio to use as a platform to upload videos of themselves completing math questions. I need to get away from the old school pencil and paper assessing and become more creative in getting students to show what they learned. This Pecha Kucha activity is something completely new, but I feel it would be beneficial to my students. If we are online in the fall, teachers will be teaching more in the open than ever before. Now would be the perfect opportunity for teachers to begin sharing resources. If we want to make a more consistent online learning experience for students, having common activities and assessments will ensure this is possible. Teachers that look at the big picture of global education and helping all students are already in the open. Although I started this course as a newbie to e-learning, I have gained a deeper understanding and more confidence in the field. I'm going to continue learning and prepare myself for any challenges that might occur during the process. I am feeling ready to take the lead in e-learning and fly with my students.